What's up everyone? Azario here again for another video game and anime only video. Here to talk about cards that were made exclusively for a Yu-Gi-Oh! video game or was shown in the an anime and weren't made into official cards. And I think it's fun to look at these cards just to get an idea what would these cards be like if they were to be released as official cards for the game and it's basically for just for fun now don't take this as any predictions that these cards are going to be made for the game some of these cards I may feel should have been made for the game because they were made for video games and you know if it's made for the video game why not just go ahead and make it for the official card game you know that's my thing that I always say but without further ado let's take a look at these cards first up we got Infernity Des Gunman it's a Dark Fiend effect monster, level 1, attack, defense 100. Description, if you have no cards in your hand when your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage, you can remove from play this card in the graveyard to negate the effect damage you take. Your opponent chooses whether or not to apply the following effect. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is a monster card, you take 2,000 damage. If it is a spell or trap card, inflict 2,000 damage to your opponent then shuffle your deck so I, I, I would have thought that this card would have been made into an official card by now um, I know they're starting to be like I know they're starting to bring cards that were either featured in the anime and or video game into the official card game now so maybe we would see this in, in you know uh, who knows, like maybe sometime this year, maybe. I don't know. But sometime in the future, they may make this into an official card. I think it would be cool to see a card like this, you know, in the Infernities. Uh, it's funny, though, because Infernity General, nobody has even bothered to use that card. I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen anybody use Infernity General um, ever maybe once I, th I think I've seen it but I don't think I've seen anybody use that card but gunman inflicts that burn damage that people like to do you know it's real sneaky you know and people won't see it coming so I you know like I think it'll be cool to see in front of the death gunman uh, next up we got infernity burst and it is a normal spell card description Inflict 800 damage to your opponent for each Infernity monster you control. 800 points. That's a lot, man. Man, that's 4,000 fucking points at max. 800 for each one. And, and, and then they don't put a limit on how many times you can use this. So, they, so re literally all they would have to do is just put like, you know, like at max they could just pull... Like, you would literally be able to get, it like, an OTK off of this. Like, OTKs and FTKs, just, you know, with those Infernity loops, especially these days when you could just get five Infernity monsters with no effort onto the field, N not to mention fill up your back row. You know, it, it literally is no challenge to activate a card like this. So, if they do this, like, they would literally have to reduce the amount of damage it, that it does probably at max get like I don't know like a thousand damage you know or maybe just say inflict 800 damage period while you control the face of infernity monster you know and then or that or just reduce the, the, the damage sum and then limit the amount of times you can activate this card per turn like that like they really go out to nerf this because that's like a serious FTK with no effort you know, I mean, shucks. I mean, there's there's been worse. You know, you know, yeah, like a wind up loop. You know, get me started on that shit. Anyway, next up we have Immortal Homeostasis, and um, it is an equip spell card description. If the equip monster cannot be destroyed by battle during the Equip monsters controllers standby phase. If the equip monster attack is different than its original attack, its controller takes 300 damage. I mean, 
I guess you can see some using something like this against cars like uh BLs, the King of Dragons, maybe. But there's better cards for you know those type of situations. And this is just like something minor. It's not even major. I don't really see this being an official card really. Or at least not as much as I can see others becoming cards. But um it's meh it's not anything that she could stick at these days. But I'm moving on. Imitation. It's a normal spell card. Description. Select one token on the field. Special summon one mass token with the same level type attribute, attack, and defense as the selected token to your opponent's side of the field. Then inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of the selected token. Burn damage. And what's funny is that they don't, they say it's no what's funny is that it's no restriction on what you can do with the token so you know I guess for like some quick burn damage maybe you can uh use this you know um cause I know it was a jam breeding uh build that was used like a couple years ago or like even early last year I think somebody had created like a jam breeding token deck and you know maybe this will work good in that I doubt it because I don't remember like the ins and outs of the build but I think it was a way for you to raise the attack of the, of the tokens so if you were raise it up to like a, a considerable amount then you'll be able to you know what I'm saying like use a card like this and do some decent damage to your opponent so that was imitation next up we got ice mirror and uh ice mirror it's a normal spell card description select one face up level three or lower monster you control special summon one monster with the same name as that target from your deck the monster special summoned by this card effect cannot declare and attack that turn banish sharks I mean, this has like the banished sharks written all over it. Those level three um, aqua sea serpent and fish type builds, you know, this is like literally right up their alley. I can actually see this card being made, you know, so. And, and it fits with the scene in today's Yu Gi Oh! When you think about it, I mean, we're in an exceed era. And you need monsters on the field of, of the same level in order to get the exceeds out. And I think this fits right into this era. So I can see them making a card like this. Plus, it was used in a video game. And as I said before, if it, if it was made for the video game, why not make it for the official card game? You know, but hey, that's just me. Next up, we have Hollow Spirit. And... It is a dark zombie effect monster, level 5, attack 1200, defense 1000, description once, once per turn, if there is a zombie type monster in your graveyard, you can inflict 800 damage to your opponent. When this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one hollow ghost from your hand, deck, or graveyard. So, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh... It's kind of like Blue Eyes Maiden, but for zombies. You know what I'm saying? It's not as effective as, you know, well, no. I'm going to say that, um, well, yeah. It's almost as effective as, well, it, I'm literally mumbling my words. It's pretty much just as effective as, you know, something like Blue Eyes Maiden. It's pretty much just as effective, considering that all you have to do is get the monster, uh, destroyed in order to get that special summon off. It's nothing. I and mean, using cards like Zombie Master or, you know, or cards like Foolish Burial, you know, just, uh, you know what I'm saying? Get this card from the graveyard. Uh, I was, or, to get a zombie in the graveyard, excuse me, 
in order to get that 800 burn damage. I mean, you can use cards like Pyramid Turtle to get it on the field quick with, with, with no problem. Uh, of course, you can use cards like Call of the Mummy, you know, to get it from your, uh, to, uh, to also get it on the field. And, uh, yeah, like, it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's pretty good. So, with that being said, let's look at the card that that monster can special summon. Hollow Ghost. Hollow Toast. Hollow Toast. Hello, mate. It is a dark zombie effect monster. Level 7, attack 2600, defense 0. Description cannot be normal summoner set. This card cannot be special summoned except with Hollow Spirit. Each time a card is sent to the graveyard, inflicts 600 damage to your opponent. If Hollow Spirit is not in your graveyard, this card's attack becomes 0. So, it is a level 7, 2600 beat stick that can you know inflict burn damage to your opponent anytime a card is sent to the graveyard it'll be interesting to see somebody using this in, in hollow spirit it would because people will start activating a bunch of cards trying to get as much <laughs> you know what I mean trying to get as much burn damage as they can it's funny to see people use cards improperly like when people use Solemn Warning on MST that's funny but um <laughs> but yeah moving on we have a card that I would really like to see in the game Beckon of Darkness now the manga is kind of far fetched cause you know it, but it's a normal spell card in the description it says well in the manga it says select one monster S the monster is dragged into the void of infinite darkness in other words it goes to the graveyard <laughs> but um yeah like it would be good to get a card like this that can just send monsters from the from the field to the graveyard like without destroying them I, I think it would be cool to see a card like this be made you know and it was in a video game like it actually was in two video games if I believe I don't know if it was in a video game or was it some manga yeah the receipt for destruction yeah it was a video game okay never mind so yeah this was in a couple video games so why haven't they made this into an official card yet anybody's guess but um next up we have offside trap uh it's a normal trap card description when a monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard if no other cards are in your in your uh spell and trap card zone special summon that monster from your graveyard negate any battle damage you would take from that battle then it becomes the end of this turn <laughs> does a does a lot you know but you can't have any other spell and trap cards in your uh spell and trap card zone you know so if they use MST on this if you're planning on activating this and then you act and then uh you know your opponent uses MST on it then you're pretty much just leaving yourself wide open you know what i mean But I still think it's a pretty awesome card. Um, I, well, more than likely, I wouldn't mind seeing it uh, in the game. But but knowing the way the average person in Yu-Gi-Oh thinks, I, I would more than likely get annoyed of it really quick and pretty much regret the the day I wished for this card to be made into an official card. <laughs> but um, yeah, like it's pretty much just like a. A better version of what's the name of that trap card in battle? Um, it was a trap card that was released, I believe, in um, Return of the Duelist. It was a trap card, uh, and it said that you know your opponent can discard one monster from their hand in order to negate that card's effect, but 
when an opponent's monster attack, you know, you can end the battle phase, or, or it was something like that. Like, I think this is a, like a better version of that card. I am not good with card names, but I'm, but, but I can remember the, those cards effects pretty vividly. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 video and anime, video game and anime only cards. Uh, again, uh, these cards, uh, are the links to these cards I will not be putting in, in, in the description. It is simply too many individual cards in order for me to do that, but of course you guys can come to Yu-Gi-Oh! Wiki and you guys can see this stuff for yourself. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, uh, thank you for all the people that have been supporting me and that are helping me by clicking ads to uh, make some money to buy new equipment, better equipment, so that I can give you better quality videos uh, on this channel. And, um, you know, with that being said, please do click a couple ads. I hate saying that with a passion, but it's a flawed system by YouTube. Google AdSense has always been a flawed system because there's no way to get a consistent stream of money from it, considering that people have to click on ads in order for you to make up or click on ads in order for you to make any money from the, uh, the program. And because there's no default way for people to just click on ads in order for you to, to get a, a consistent stream of revenue from it, you're basically on your own trying to promote that, okay, hey, I'm with Google AdSense, you know, would you mind clicking on a couple ads? I'm, you know, I'm not asking for a donation or any money out of your pocket, just, you know, click a couple ads, it helps, you know. With that being said, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Spread the word. I'm trying to get this channel to grow even more in 2014. And uh, I'll see you guys next time for another Yu-Gi-Oh! 101 video. Peace.